everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be part five of my declutter series today I will be decluttering all of my bronzers um, and I do have a bunch of contour kits here in the back and as well as like some cream products that we'll go through for any additional information about this video please check out the description box and without any further ado let's get started Okay, so we'll just get started over here on the left. So the first thing that I have is this Flower Beauty. This is just a, like a loose powder. And this is in the shade L02. This is actually like a face powder, but it's just way too dark for me to use as a face powder. So it's actually a really nice bronzing powder. So I will definitely keep this, I do like it. I just use it as a bronzer. Okay, this next thing is the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer and it's in the shade 021 Sunlight. And I'll go ahead and keep this as well. This is a really nice bronzer. I do have pretty good dent used in it, so it's a pretty good bronzer. I'll go ahead and keep that one. Okay, this next thing here is the Model Co. Um, shimmer bronzing powder and I really really like this especially in the summer months I I just think that it works really really good um, it's definitely very pigmented and it's just it's got a little bit of shimmer in it but you once you get it on the face you can't really tell so it's just a really really beautiful product and I'll definitely be keeping that okay this next thing is the elf contouring blush and bronzer palette in the shade Saint Lucia and I'll definitely be keeping this. This is just a really pretty little duo here. The bronzer is a really pretty color and then the blush is really pretty as well. Both very pigmented by e.l.f. So I'll definitely be keeping both of those. This next thing here is the Marc Bronze Pro Bronzing Powder. And these bronzing powders by Marc are really nice so I'll definitely be keeping this. Just a really nice shade and I do really like them. They're really nice powders. Okay, next thing is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. This is in the shade Glow Boosting Pressed Bronzer Light to Medium. That's the shade of that one. And I will be keeping this. This is a very, very nice, um, it's a lighter color, but it's just a really nice bronzing powder. I'll definitely be keeping that. Okay, this next thing is the Bonnie Bell Blend and Glow. This is a natural face powder. So, I did really like this. I used it a lot. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. You know, since this color is taken out, I just, I don't get a whole lot of use out of it anymore since it's pretty well used. I'll go ahead and get rid of this one for now. Okay, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Bronzing Powder. This is in the shade Sunlight. And this is a very, very, my lid's broken off, a very, very light bronzing powder. Pretty hard to see with just a swatch there, but I'll go ahead and keep this. It is really nice, a really nice shade for me. This is the NYX Matte Bronzer, and this is in the shade Light. And I'll definitely be keeping this. This is a really nice bronzing powder. Just a really pretty color. It is more of kind of the red tones, but it seems to work pretty well with my skin. So I definitely like this and I'll be keeping it. Next, this is almost more of a highlighter, but it's in this, um, it's in this container. And this is the Milani Tantastic Face and Body Baked Bronzer in the shade Fantastic in Gold. So this is so beautiful. You just swirl all of it together and it's just a really, really nice bronzy highlight gold just really really pretty i'll definitely be keeping this it's really pretty like especially on your shoulders just really pretty gives you a really nice glow so i'll definitely be keeping that this is the nyc bronzing face powder in the shade sunny and i'll be keeping this as well this is a really nice bronzing powder just a really pretty color and it does work and blend really nice into the skin this is the Revlon Highlighting Palette in Bronze Glow. Once you swirl all of these colors together, it makes a really pretty sort of reddish bronzing color. So I will be keeping this. I haven't gotten a whole lot of use out of it, but I'm definitely going to try to get some more use out of it. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Bronzer, and I absolutely love this. I will definitely be keeping this. It's just a really great bronzer. A uh, really great contour powder. I'm definitely going to be keeping this. Okay, next this is the e.l.f. Golden Bronzer in the shade Golden. Um, I will be keeping this. It's... 
once you mix all the colors together it is a really pretty shade it's pretty light but I think I can get some use out of it so I'll definitely go ahead and keep this one for now this is the physician's formula shimmer strips in the shade Waikiki strip peachy glow bronzer I think is what that's called and this is absolutely beautiful I've got to show you guys a swatch of this so you run all of the colors together and this is what it looks like if you go light-handed <laughs> with this it's just really really beautiful and it also makes a really beautiful eyeshadow color so I will definitely be keeping this next this is the mark Buenos Aires vibe caliente glow blush and bronzer compact so I'll definitely be keeping this um, I haven't gotten a whole lot of use out of it yet but you can either run your fingers or your brush through the middle part and get like this really pretty purpley blush or you can do the whole thing and kind of get like a, a more mauve -er sort of bronzer so I will keep this I do really like it okay this next thing here is the Milani face powder this is in the shade medium tan so this is actually a face powder but I use it as a bronzer it works really nice for me so I definitely like the color as a bronzer it just it works really nice so I'll definitely be keeping that one this is the Milani Baked Bronzer, and this is in the shade 06 Golden, and this is really, really, really pretty. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's a really nice bronzing powder, and I definitely will be keeping that. Next, this is the Smooth Minerals by Avon. This is their powder foundation. This is actually the bronzer powder foundation. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. It's just, it's kind of... It's just too hard to work with. It is a really pretty color, but it's just really hard to blend in to the face. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one for now. And then this is the Mark Set Things Right Loose Perfecting Powder in the shade Deep. I'll be go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I just I never really got any use out of it, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Next, this is from CoverGirl and I'm I can't read what the color name is but this is just one of their cheeker bronzers and this is really an old item in my collection so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it for now but it was a really nice bronzer and I did use it all the time but it's just it's kind of old and as you can see it's got kind of hard pan in certain places so I'll go ahead and get rid of that this is the Avon glow marbled bronzer in beach glow and I will be keeping this. This is just a really pretty bronzer. Really light and pretty and it does blend out really nicely on the skin. So I'll be keeping that one. This is the Marc Bronze Pro Bronzing Powder in the shade Pro Golden. This does have a little bit of sparkles to it but once you get it on the skin you can't really see that. But I will be keeping these. I definitely like that. This next one is in the shade Pro Glow, and I will be keeping this one as well. It's just a really nice, pretty color. Um, it's a little bit more orangey red, but it still does look pretty nice on the skin. This next one is a Marc Glodaceous powder in the shade Prettied Up, and I will definitely be keeping this. It's one of those you rub all the shades together, and this one's definitely lighter. You could almost use it as a blush, but I will be keeping that it's really pretty and this is a glodaceous powder in the shade shimmied up by mark and I'll be keeping this as well a little bit darker of a color but more red tones in it um, I will be keeping that I definitely like that and then this one here is a another glodaceous powder in the shade amped up and again this is the darkest one of the glodaceous powders and I really like this one it's really pretty I'll definitely be keeping that one as well Okay, this here is the Avon Glow Bronzing Powder in the shade Warm Glow. I'll be keeping this one. It's just a really, really pretty color, and they're really buttery, and they blend out really nicely, so I'll be keeping that one. And then I've got another um, Avon Glow Bronzing Powder in the shade Light Bronze, and this one, as you can see, I used a lot. I really, really like it. This is a matte one. Just really pretty. So I will definitely be keeping that one. Okay, so moving on to the back here. This one is a Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Ticket to Brazil. 
And I've been using this a lot recently and I absolutely love this. Just such a pretty color and it just looks really nice on the skin, blends out really nicely. And it's such a big product that you'll hardly ever go through all of this, so I definitely want to keep that. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Contouring Palette in the shade Caramel Toffee, and I really like this. My bronzer shade is like, like a little bit hard, hard pan, like with a brush it's hard to pick up any product, but it is a really pretty shade, and then the highlighting shade is really nice for under the eyes. I'll definitely be keeping this. Alright, so this next thing is this Benefit Bronzer. This is the shade Hoola, and I absolutely love this. I've had this for a while. This was like one of my first bronzers that I ever really got into. It's just such a pretty shade, and it just, it works really nice, and I really like it, so I'll definitely be keeping this. Alright, so this is a ColourPop Super Shock Cheek, and this is in the shade Skinny Dip. I will definitely be keeping this. I really, really like this. It's super pigmented and just blends out really pretty on the skin. So I'll definitely be keeping this. And then this is my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I absolutely love this. Smells really good. And it's just such a pretty light buildable shade. I will definitely be getting, <laughs> I will definitely be keeping this one. Oh, there's one back here I didn't see. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Princess, and I will be keeping this. This is just a really pretty color. Definitely going to be keeping that one. This is an Avon Cream Concealer in the shade Deep. I'm going to go, go ahead and get rid of this. I just, I had thought about using this as like a cream contour shade, but I just never really did, so I'm going to go ahead and pass that one along. So this is the Avon Ideal Flawless Stick Concealer in the shade I Medium Wheat. I was going to use this for a cream contour color, but just wasn't the right shade for what I wanted it to do, and I never really used it, so I'll go ahead and pass that along. And this is the Avon Ideal Flawless CC Cream Color Corrector Pencil in the shade Medium Deep. Same sort of thing, I thought I was going to use this for a cream contour, but just never really did, so I'll go ahead and pass this along. And sort of the same thing, this is the L'Oreal True Match Crown Concealer, and this is in the shade Medium Deep. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I never really used this for, I mean I wanted to use this for cream, cream uh, contour, but just never really got around to it, so I'll be getting rid of that one. And then this is the Avon Glow Bronzing Gel. So just like a sort of an instant bronzing gel that you can cream contour with. Um, I just never really used it and I just don't ever see myself using that really. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass that along. Okay, so moving on to my palettes back here. This is the e.l.f. Contour Palette in, I don't really know what the shade is on this, I guess. I guess it's just a contouring palette, but I will definitely be keeping this. It's got some really pretty bronzing shades and some really pretty highlighting shades, so I will definitely be keeping these. Next, I have the Lorac Pro Contour Palette, and I will definitely be keeping this. I haven't gotten a whole lot of use out of it yet. It's pretty new to me, but the colors are just really pretty and buttery, so I will definitely be keeping these. Really, 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 really pretty. Next, I have the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this for now. My only problem with it is all of the bronzing shades are really patchy. When you blend them out on the skin, they just turn out really patchy. I don't know why. I really don't. They swatch really nicely, but they're just super patchy. I don't know what the problem is, but I do really like the other shades in the palette, so I think I'll just go ahead and try to make this work for now, so I'll be keeping it. Okay, so this is really old. I guess this is by the Color Workshop, and this is a powder bronzer kit, I guess. Really cheap, plus, or cardboard. I got this when I was probably not even in high school, <laughs> um, so I've definitely had this for a very long time. It's got a few bronzer shades. These are all really shimmery. I've just thought about I don't know. I just have kept this for so long because I keep thinking that I'm going to use it, but really, I never really reach for these. Just because they're not the greatest quality, I don't even know where I got this from. Just, so I'll be passing that one along. 
Okay, and then the last thing in here is my BH Cosmetics Contour and Blush Palette. And these pans are huge. So huge. But I absolutely love this. This is a really great palette. I'm definitely going to have to get more palettes from BH Cosmetics. Um, this is the bronzing shade in here. Super pigmented, but if you use a light hand, you can get it to work really nicely. It's got other pretty shades in here. This one's kind of a skin tone shade. And then you've got a peachy shade. So it's got really great shades in here. I'll definitely be keeping this. Okay, everybody. So this is my bronzing drawer after I've got everything out of here that I am decluttering. I do have a little bit more room in here. I did get rid of 10 different bronzing products, whether they were the cream, I got rid of a palette, and then a few other little products. So I'm happy with what I got rid of. Thank you so much for watching part five of my declutter series. Uh, make sure to give this video a like and a comment if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe and all that jazz. Thanks again for watching. I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!